<laughs> Howdy y'all, welcome back. It's been months. You haven't seen anything since I got Nighthawk, but we'll kind of give you an update. Nighthawk has, was driving great and now has a transmission leak somewhere as of a couple days ago. So, parked right here, needs to, I guess, pull the transmission and change the front seal is what it's sounding like. It's not ideal. I had a lot of work for a cheap little part. And the IROC has an electrical issue of some sort. Every time you start it, every time you go to start it, it's dead and doesn't start up and takes either a jump box or jump start or charge or something and then it'll run fine. So IROC's got an electrical problem. Tahoe's got transmission problem which it's had since the beginning. Fireball overall doing great. Always always could use some work to be faster. Just has some body panels. AC is fixed. The part is inside to fix it permanently. So there's that. The blazer has these engines sitting right here that's been untouched. I actually started to film a video on pulling these and doing everything and then never did anything in it. So this is the first you're seeing of that. But there's the old one. There's the old engine out of Megatron that's going to go in the blazer and give you a look at the blazer later but the biggest news we've added two trailers since you've seen we've got nice 18 foot flatbed trailer here dual axle 3500 pound Axles each, 7,000 pounds. Thing's got a winch on it for moving around all the dead cars. It's got a very, got a nice battery box here. Currently has no battery for the winch, but trailer's good. Picked that up recently and will help with moving vehicles around. So, Got it hooked up to take over to storage, and you can see the other tra enclosed trailer we got. So essentially, we'll put the get over to storage. Clifford's over there, a little S10. It's gonna get parked up on this thing, and then put behind the enclosed camper trailer which you haven't seen yet so we got a lot of vehicles not a lot of places to park them as you can see we got vehicles on the street driveways just a little bit full around here so lots to work on lots to do we'll take you over to storage and show you the other trailer. Made it to storage. Here is the new camper trailer, cargo trailer and hauler for the best vehicle we have also gotten that you haven't seen, but it's a cargo trailer conversion. Got an AC up on the roof. We got a nice big ramp here. Inside, we cut this window in already. It's got cabinets, fridge, cabinets, AC, got a toilet over here. Nice beds, TV, more cabinets. It was previously used as a motorcycle trailer, so there's all this E-Track, but it's gonna be a camper trailer, but as you can probably figure out by now, we need to put this little guy on the flat trailer. Well, you know what we didn't bring? Keys. Keys to this guy. 
and an air compressor. So we need keys and compressor. Oh, and a flat tire. So yeah, we uh, we're really on the ball today, and just forgot everything we need for this truck because he's been sitting for so long that we need all kinds of goodies to move all this around. So. Back to the house, get some keys, get an air compressor, and then we can start shuffling this out, this guy, onto this trailer, so that it can go behind the camper. Oh, and if you're wondering about the uh, custom ratchet strap front end, it's a uh, poor story of a Sad dog on the last road trip with no other options. So the front end is held together with a strap. So yeah, we're gonna go run around and shuffle some vehicles and some keys and try this all again. Meanwhile, I'll give you a peek at the uh, blazer. All right y'all, so to continue on with what's going on, with the blazer here. The blazer's parked here. Unfortunately, we fought towed over here behind Clifford. Pain in the butt. Part of why we got the new trailer is to tow it, but as you can see here, blazer's tucked away. Oh, of course, you can't see anything here. So, all right, so blazer update. As you can see, the engine is out. Engine sitting in the garage to be replaced with the other one. We had made a custom trans mount here to not have to completely pull the transmission. We just disconnected it. But the plan for this is it's going to get the engine 350 out of Megatron, but started to swap that. It was a little bit of a pain with the intake on the top the bolts don't quite line up this has a carburetor that had a throttle body also these hood latches are not actually attached so we're gonna go ahead just close that so anyways engine from Megatron still runs still good need to swap the intake over we're gonna have to redrill some holes because they don't quite match up anyways the older ones are straight, newer ones are straight and angled. So we gotta redo that, throw that in the blazer, and also still got untouched in the inside, so lots of parts for it in here. But it's just gonna hang out, wait for an engine, got a Back window for it right here. Spare tires since everything we have now matches. Need to take that engine lift probably back to the house to bring the engines back over here. Got two old transmissions. So if anyone knows how to rebuild transmissions or is in need of one, let me know. But that's the plan. Blazer obviously still has the temporary back window we made. Needs a lot, but plan is to just get the engine in it, get it drivable. But we can do that with the. So it's gonna sit over here. Engines are gonna come back. Get those all sorted out. Obviously need to get the Nighthawk figured out because that little thing's been a great daily. It's had a little bit of transmission issues, but it's been fine. Until now, I've been using it for work all day, every day. It's been great. And now, we're having issues. So, everything needs some work of some sort. We'll get to moving stuff around and not being forgetful.
So yeah, playing on this camper trailer beauty is car shows, air shows, you know, use this sucker to sleep in. Really don't need a whole lot. Somewhere to sleep for events like LS Fest, which is actually the first place we even took it. Worked out great. So, Clifford's getting sold. I know we're kind of all over the place, but Clifford's getting sold. So if you're in the market for a long bed S10, let us know. It got replaced by the trailer. <laughs> And we're still locked out. So, when the keys get back, we'll continue this fun. Quick update. Can't find the keys to Clifford anywhere. So I have now cut wire off the back of a picture frame in storage to see if we can get this door open. Because we expect there to be a set of keys inside. So, picture wire. To unlock the door. All right, y'all. So after all of that car shuffling and unloading and everything, could not find the keys to the S10. So now we're going back home with the trailer, but the IROC is already over in the corner, and there's nowhere else that the trailer would fit. So now we're gonna have to shuffle cars or something when we get home. But before we get there, we got, I can show you the last vehicle. We got one stop to make and show you more updates to the fleet. All right, y'all, here's one I know you haven't seen in a while, Megatron. Megatron's been tucked over, anyway, current living situation. Megatron's been parked here for about a year. And so, came over the other day, gave him some love, and just need some air in the tires. The fuel pump was sticking, worked on that. So, we're gonna see if he will start. Let's see. Battery's looking a little low, but maybe we can get it. Started right up. Now this is what we've been missing on the channel. Sound of Megatron. Since Megatron's in a good mood and just starts right up, we're gonna take Megatron for a quick little drive. Enjoy some of this daylight and enjoy some of this LS swap. Let's go. Thing is beyond filthy, but we're rolling. We also need an inspection. But, gonna run this thing over to the shop and back get it out and put some miles on it. So wicked. We need more of this. Power steering is a little weak, but we will work on that. All right, all right, let's. My gauges look great. Hadn't driven this thing in so long and needs more transmission fluid. It's shifting a little weird, but it is, I've missed this truck. 
actually talked to a guy today with a 97 Suburban. It made me want to come drive this thing. Too good. So fast. By far the fastest vehicle we have right now. I rock winds to about 60 feet, but I'm sure in a drag race this thing would win. Man, I will tell y'all what. This truck just makes me smile. This is by far my favorite thing. It's been sitting for a year. It's running great. I don't know if it'll focus. Let's see if we can get it to... No, we're too close. Anyways, truck is running great. It's nice and loud. We're just having so much fun. I need to drive this thing more often. Really, I need a couple minor things to just daily it, but so much fun. I can't, I don't even remember the last time I drove something that would accelerate like this. The IROC does, but when you, you hit this thing, it just puts you back in your seat. How could you not love this? 540,000 miles on this thing, 95 Suburban, doesn't get any better. I'm telling y'all. LS swap was the way to go. This just gets me motivated to do some more. So, anyways, we're about to pull back up to the house and shuffle some cars. So, maybe this thing will still need to go back tonight. Because it doesn't have any of my stuff, but I've missed it. We're going to drive this thing some more on the channel. All right. After multiple vehicle changes and dinner, dinner and digging through the whole thing because we didn't bring snacks earlier, dug through every key at the house, swapped vehicles, now just driving around to Megatron because that's fun. And now we're gonna just, we've got a coat hanger. So our coat hanger key is gonna get us to the key that's in the console, hopefully. Do you so have a hammer? Now we gotta break in to key our own going. truck. I need a hammer. Shoving in like a winner. Oh, this one went in. All right. So we couldn't even break in. Tried coat hangers and pry bars and everything. Good news is this might be the most secure vehicle we've got. So we're going to get a longer piece of wire and maybe come back and try this again. Definitely did not plan for a vehicle update video to actually turn into a video for you but here we are and there's always something to work on so that'll do it see you next time